I am David Delaney with Tenbound, and we're talking Salesforce today, the behemoth in our industry, if you could say it. Almost everyone, at least here on the West Coast, has Salesforce plugged in as their CRM and sort of the backbone of the sales development industry and something that we have running in the background always. And this week, we heard they're laying off 10% of their workforce and tightening up a bit. You know, many people out there are talking about how we're going into a recession, but I think if you're in the tech industry, you've noticed that are we not in a recession already? It's It's been crazy with the cutbacks and the VC industry pulling back and investment has essentially stopped to some extent. And so the cutbacks in Salesforce doesn't really surprise me much. I think that, you know, we're riding the growth wave for the last 20 plus years. At some point, there's too many people, too many offices, too many high salaries. It's almost like San Francisco is sort of a company town with the huge skyscraper that's in the middle of San Francisco. I don't know if it's completely occupied by Salesforce, but it's big in the city. And eventually that wave has to crash. And I, I think right now we're experiencing somewhat of a crash. One thing also to keep in mind that I see out there is that HubSpot is coming up as a legitimate competitor in the tech industry for CRMs and more and more companies. It used to be that HubSpot, especially on the West Coast, like HubSpot was not considered legitimate competitor for Salesforce and CRM, but more and more companies are going to HubSpot because it's sort of a one-stop shop for all the different marketing automation and the cadence product and everything is built in, your website, your SEO, it's all in one package. Uh, Salesforce tries to do that with their app exchange, but I've definitely seen it change. So you've got the competitive aspect coming up. You've got the macroeconomic headwinds, the fact that it was all growth for so long and they were doing so well that it had to change. For all my friends and folks that have been impacted at Salesforce, it sucks. And it sucks for the whole industry because it's like if the big factory in town starts to retract and close down, then all the little delis and ancillary shops start to get impacted by that. And it trickles out into the local economy. And San Francisco was already just under so much pressure. I mean, you go downtown and it's just an absolute absolute disaster. Hopefully after COVID, it was going to take a while to recover. But after this, between work from home and the tech industry shutting down and pulling out of San Francisco, it's going to be tough down there for a while. And don't even get me started about the government uh, of San Francisco. You could go down a huge rabbit hole of, of that whole thing. All in all, you're going to keep watching for it. I have no doubt, you know, after this, I don't know how long it's going to take, but this year or a couple of years, Salesforce will be back. You look at the leadership and what they've done over the last 20 years. It's mind boggling. They've created an industry. They helped create Tenbound <laughs> as a company. They were the initial proponents of software as a service and the whole sales industry, sales technology industry that's grown out of that. You know, I look forward to seeing them come back, but for now it's going to be tough for a while. So that's the Salesforce report, my observations on it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you seeing more people use HubSpot right now? Do you think that it was just Salesforce getting over indexed on growth and hiring too much, leasing too many offices, paying people too much, or is it something else? Is it the product? What's causing this retraction? Let me know in the comments.